Matt Macy and Reese Nielsen, Nelson, all the young players, not happy about the way that I've dealt with Thomas Party. I've got to discuss it with them, apparently. Right. I've heard that some of you aren't happy with how I've dealt with Thomas Partey's issue recently. Can one of you explain what you feel I've done wrong, please, so that we can nip this in the bud? We think that Thomas deserves more playing time, and the way you dismissed his concerns showed very poor man management. It's a real worry that you treat one of our teammates like that. If I had agreed to his playing time demands, it would have meant dropping one of you, one of our other teammates, all of whom are more deserving than him at the minute. He needs to earn his opportunities, not moan about them. They're all let down and disappointed, pessimistic. The thing is, you risk losing him altogether if he doesn't get more football. It's better to play him than lose him, surely. Pacifying. You're right, we don't want to lose him altogether. I'll give him the playing time he wants in order to keep him here. See, now they're troubled and upset. You can't win with these guys. The damage is done, I'm afraid. The way you've handled this has led to me losing a lot of respect for you I'm starting to think you might be losing the dressing room right now I'm going to get fucking annoyed I'm very disappointed this was a chance to work things out but all I've learned is that I have some very unprofessional players on my hands yeah downcast and negative that's right Nelson Macy and Saliba oh, he took some positive uh, feedback about his training there brilliant stuff pre-match conference here we go West Brom have so far confounded their critics as pre-season relegation candidates, currently lying 17th in the Premier Division table. They're currently out of the drop zone, but there won't be many expecting the Baggies to beat you, to beat your Arsenal team at Emirates Stadium on Sunday. How do you see the game going? I'm confident as long as we stick to our game plan. Who do you expect to be front and centre in the battle for continental qualification this season? Uh, well, us, obviously. I think we've got everything it takes to qualify. It's quite simple. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Brief. Oh, no. Lacazette sprained his ankle. He's out for four weeks. I was going to put him on today as well. And Bakayu Saka is also injured with blisters. Eight days. Holy cow. Right, well. I really want to be able to talk to my team a bit more. Some of the defenders, I want to have like one-on-one -on -one conversations with them. They think we should go to a very attacking style of play. Yeah, maybe so, maybe so. Right, let's give him a go then. Party on for Saka, who's injured. Party for Chambers. Prefers to be on the right. Xhaka prefers to be in the centre, but we're not playing a three-man, so that doesn't matter. Okay, has he got personalised? Yes. Defensive. Oh, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Yes, more direct. Take more risks. See how this works. The Chambers is unavailable. Lacazette is unavailable. Mesut Ozil gets a spot on the bench. And Nikita comes on instead of Lacazette. In fact, let's put Nikita out there where Pato is. He's a very good player. Let's see what he can do. All right, let's do this. Morale. Look at the morale of my team. Absolutely shocking. Tierney, Gabriel and Party. All low morale. All right, come on, guys. Need to get things up and running again. I expect nothing but a win from this match to cut our recent run of bad. Point the finger. Yes, I expect nothing but a win from this match to cut our recent run of bad results. Nobody is uh, engaged at all. Tottenham Hotspur are also in action against Brighton and Hove Albion and they will be looking to demonstrate their title aspirations even at this early stage. Do you see them winning this match? Um... I just can't see them winning that game, which is totally not true, but whatever. It's never ideal to have an injury and forced absence, of course, but is it easier when Alexandre Lacazette misses out on what many people consider a more comfortable match for Arsenal? It's still a challenge we have to be up for, but I'm confident that his absence won't, won't prove too costly. What do you see being the deciding factor between the two teams who have very similar tactical approaches? It will come down to whoever executes their game plan to the best. 
we know each other well. West Brom's recent struggles have them in 19th in the Premier Division form table. Is this a chance to pile on misery? It's definitely an opportunity for us to show what we're capable of. They do the same to us, so I'm showing no mercy in trying to win here. Let's have it, boys. Nikita getting involved nice and early. Unfortunately, didn't get anything on the end of that. Xhaka looking good. Tierney, Smith Rowe. Xhaka over the top to a Oh, <laughs> that was nearly goal of the season. It was a bloody good effort. Nice play from Xhaka. That's what we wanted to see. We weren't seeing enough of that. Wow, this has been the most quiet game I think I've ever seen. So, attacking-wise, it's all us, but what is going on? Pump our fist. We've been the better team here. Just keep doing what you've been doing and we'll be fine. Nobody is impressed. Right, attackers. Pump my fists. You have the ability to make a real difference for us today. Get out there and do it. Okay, good stuff. Let's do it. Somebody's motivated. That's good. Uh-oh. Oh, off the crossbar. Blocked. Okay, I've got to do something about this. 65 minutes in, this is not going well at all. We're going to go for our second attack type. Confirm those changes. We're going to have to make some subs here. 73rd minute, yeah, we need some... We need some attacking impetus. We're going to go Ozil on right wing. Will I in the middle and Pato on the left. Confirm those subs. Okay, we've got a corner. This will be a good time for Pato to come in and score. Or not. I didn't go anywhere. Come on, guys. Ozil with the corner. Good cross in. Nothing doing. Will I am. Bellerin. Back to Will I am. Good run from him. What can he do with this? A little bit too heavy for Obama Yang. Four minutes of extra time. This is not what we wanted. Gabriel quick on the ball. Bellerin. Xhaka to Ozil. Thomas. Come on, guys. Will I am. Oh, he's done one. Pato! Oh, he still can't get that Premier League goal. We've got a corner here. Come on, Ozil. Oh, that went right past the Bamiyang as well. Terrible cross, but Pato is there. Gets his first Premier League goal for the team. That could be so important. Is he onside? Oh, it's going to be tight. Yes, he's just on side. Well done, man. All right, let's get ourselves balanced. See out these last couple of minutes. That was not a good game, but it was the right result. We absolutely dominated. We just couldn't score. <sighs> well done, lads. That result sees Arsenal shoot right up the table. You've got to be happy with that. We're heading in the right direction and look forward to building on it. Well, it took a bit longer for your side to get the breakthrough than you must have hoped. How relieved were you when Alexandre Pato scored? We certainly made it hard for ourselves, but we got the goal eventually and that's what matters. How do you think the two teams fared against each other from a tactical perspective? I learnt a lot, which is a good thing. I'll go away and think about how we can react to what unfolded out here. Alexandre Pato's dramatic late goal was something for you to savour. How do you rate that moment? That's what football's all about. It was a joy to behold. You must be pleased with Alexandre Pato's performance today. He was terrific. That's the sort of thing he's capable of. And that puts us in fifth place with a very good goal difference. Look at West Ham with a goal difference of minus one. How did they beat us? Post-match conference. Here we go. 
Arsenal have scored a high proportion of their goals in the late stages of either half. Can you offer any insight as to why you're finding such a success in these periods? We make a point of reminding the players that a match is 90 minutes long and that the, the decisive moment can often come late on. Do you feel you'll have the upper hand over Slav and Bilic when it comes to mind games now? I can't imagine this result will change anything in that regard. Can you explain your tactical style? I've always identified with a certain style, a certain way of playing the game that I believe is the way football should be played. I think every manager has to work out the best approach given the players at his or her disposal and what their own natural inclinations are. That's been the case for me at least. Thank you guys. Yep, all went well.